I posted a video last fall. I think it was this last fall that I posted. And it was titled, You Have Not Run Out of Chances with God. And in the video, I said, um, You Have Not Run Out of Chances with God. <laughs> See how that works? I'll tell you, it's like magic. Any, anyhow, recently, a person on, on one of the platforms in which that video was posted, somebody apparently watched it yesterday, and uh, that person asked me to provide a scriptural basis for this idea. You, you haven't run out of chances. That's a very good, and it's a very, very fair request, by the way. Very good. And uh, so I'm going to provide that here in this um, in this podcast. When I say we have not run out of chances with God, I base that on actually a few scripture passages. I, I think there are actually more than I could, that I'm going to post here. I'm going to give you three. There's more besides these three, but for the podcast, I'm going to give you three scripture passages to back up this statement that I've made. The first one comes from the book of Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. Jesus told his disciples, and obviously that includes you and I, Still today, if you're a follower of Jesus, he told us to be willing to forgive this many times. Do you remember what he said? He was talking to Peter. Remember what he said? 70 times 7. Forgive that many times. Again, it's found in Matthew 18, verses 21 through 22. Now, the point that Jesus was making is not uh, do the multiplication there. 70 times 7, that's 490. So, Count, count very carefully, keep careful track, and be willing to forgive a person 400 and get to 489, then to 490, and then at 491, that's it. Stop. No more forgiveness. That's not what he meant, obviously. What he meant is be willing to forgive a person, always, All, if the person genuinely asks for forgiveness. Now, forgiveness with humans can get very, very difficult, and sometimes people aren't sincere, and that, that's a whole other discussion. If a person genuinely asks for forgiveness, we should be willing to forgive. Now, since that's a standard that God has given to you and I, to his followers, I believe that that's a standard, therefore, that he holds himself. Right? I mean, God's standards for himself cannot be lower. <laughs> his standards can't for him can't be lower than the standards he gives for us. His standards for him say he's perfect. So his standards can't be lower. So if his standard for us is always be willing to forgive, then that must be his standard for himself. That's the standard that he extends to us as well. So that's the first passage, uh, Matthew 18, 21 through 22. I also base this concept, we, we haven't run out of chances with God, on Romans chapter 8, verses 35 through 39. And in that passage, great passage of Scripture, incredible passage of Scripture, it tells us that nothing shall ever separate us from God's love. Nothing. In this passage, we're told, this is part of the passage of, of Romans eight thirty five through 39. Part of it says, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons. It's incredibly comprehensive. It says, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth. It goes on, it says, nothing else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God's love for you, for me, according to, to, not my opinion, according to the Bible, according to the Romans 8 passage, God's love for us does not go away. It's never removed. It never, we don't do something in which he stops it. Okay, I stopped loving you. According to this passage, take a moment to read it. It's an amazing, wonderful, encouraging passage. According to the passage, God will never, ever stop loving us. You say, Dan, does this even apply to you? Yeah. Yeah, even me. You say, wow, God really is nice. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Now, since God knows we are, he knows us better than we know ourselves, right? He knows everything about us. Since he knows we are people who have flaws, he knows that. He knows we're people who make mistakes, and yet he still assures us that he's always going to continue to love us, even though he knows us perfectly and knows all of our stuff. He's still going to love us. That tells me we do not run out of chances with God. A third passage, one more, that this leads me to believe that we have not run out of chances, will not run out of chances with God. It's 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. This is a pretty well-known passage. You, you may have heard it before. It says, if we confess our sins, 
He, God, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we sincerely ask God for forgiveness... Now, again, God knows. He knows if, if People say, yeah, but what if somebody's faking it? Well, God knows if you're faking. He knows, he knows our hearts completely. He knows us, again, better than we know ourselves. So he knows if, we're sincere, if this is genuine or not. If we genuinely ask God for forgiveness, he promises. This is his promise in his word. He promises he'll forgive our sins. And I would ask you to notice that the passage doesn't have limitations on it. In other words, the passage does not say this. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just, and he will forgive us our sins up to 55 sins. But after that, he's done. After all, how many chances do you think you're going to get for crying out loud? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say. In fact, I'm pretty, I haven't looked this up for sure. I'm pretty certain, though, the phrase for crying out loud does not appear anywhere in the Bible. <laughs> This promise from God of forgiveness does not have limitations. If we are sincere in asking forgiveness, he will provide us with forgiveness. Done for sure every time. So those are a few passages that I look to in order to back up this claim, this statement. In fact, I'll say it again with joy and with gladness. I say it again. I'm thankful. I'm grateful for this truth. We have not run out of chances with God. We may think we've gone too far and we've run out of chances. Satan, the deceiver, may try to lead us to believe you've gone too far. You're out of chance. You're done for. You can't. You're no good anymore. You're out of chances with God. It's not true. Don't believe the lies of the deceiver. We have not. Thank you, Lord. We have not run out of chances with God. (laughs) 